Hi friends, you're on the Nick FPV channel and today we will be installing the new DJI 04 Air Unit Pro in the Pavo 25 V2. We'll use one antenna from the O3 unit. We'll also need some 3D printing to mount and protect the camera. Let's start disassembling the drone. Unscrew the four screws of the bottom cover of the VTX. Carefully remove the propeller guard and finally unscrew the VTX. Disconnect and unscrew the camera. Disconnect GPS and unscrew VTX and LRS antenna mounts. We won't be needing this antenna anymore. Unscrew the propellers for easy access to the flight controller. JHE MCU VTX proved to be a pretty good transmitter, quite light and inexpensive. Yes, the power is only 600 megawatts, but it is more than enough for flying on Cinewhoop. The next step is to prepare the camera mounts. Soldering the tabs for the M2 screws with the soldering iron. I put the temperature at around 300 degrees. That's enough to quickly fuse the tabs and not damage the plastic around them. Now we measure the O3 antenna and see that the length of the antenna wires will not be long enough to fit the VTX comfortably. So I mark how much I need and carefully cut off the excess. You have to be very careful not to damage the antenna wire. When unscrewing the O4 unit cover, I felt no force, as if the screws were not tightened and there was no thread locker. This is strange, because somehow during flight there is constant vibration on the drone and such loosely tightened screws can simply unscrew. O4 can be connected with the same cable as O3. The pinout of both units is the same. When the camera mount is screwed on, the top screw holes are in a hard to reach position and cannot be screwed in. I have to remove the mount again to screw the camera on. Once everything is in place, a screwdriver can be used to loosen or tighten the screws without any problems. Now, 
Let's move on to configuring the flight controller and updating and activating the O4 unit. The first thing to do is change the port in Beta Flight under the Ports tab. Previously there was Analog VTX on UART 5. Disable it and enable UART 2 on which we have a connector HD VTX. For O4 select VTX MSP plus DisplayPort. Save and restart after any changes before switching to another tab. Next switch the OSD format to HD and customize it as you like. Check all settings again. The next step is to activate the O4 unit and update the firmware. Please note that you must have the latest version of DJI Assistant. Be sure to connect power to the drone during activation, otherwise the program will display an error. After activation, update the firmware to the latest version. That's all you need to do with the drone and O4 unit. Now let's go to the goggles. I have a DJI Goggles 2. So no low latency and high bitrate, but I don't think I'll need that on this drone. Simply connect the goggles to your phone, launch the DJI Fly app on your phone and turn on the goggles. DJI Fly recommends that you update all DJI devices so that you don't lose compatibility. Make sure that we have the latest firmware on all devices and update the goggles. Make sure everything is working correctly. I have a little fear after a failed experiment with O3 unit. You can watch a video about it on my channel. Turn on the drone and goggles, press the bind button on both devices and... Got the image, super, everything works. I'm very, very glad. All that's left to do is to fully assemble the drone. Note that the O4 unit is fixed with M2 screws, unlike the O3 unit which is fixed with M1.6 screws. To have access to the SD card and USB-C I use spaces like this for the bottom cover. This creates a problem as the bottom point on which the drone lands is this cover, but for now we leave it as it is, I will fix it in the future. Tighten the screws gradually a few turns at a time, do not tighten completely at once so that the cover is not skewed. The recommended card format for the O4 is U3A2V30, in my case it's a Lexar 1066 by for 128GB. All that's left is to screw the propellers on. Now the drone has put on a lot of weight, 202 grams without battery. And 259 grams even with 550 million battery. Unfortunately now it's not a sub 250 drone. It's time to check out the O4 unit in action.
haven't gotten ND filters for 04 yet, so the video was shot with auto shutter speed, ND log M, output to rec 709 and color graded in DaVinci Resolve. At first glance, the picture quality is much better compared to the O3 unit, more detail, more dynamic range. But this is not surprising given the larger sensor of the O4 unit. You can also see it in the settings. Now you can shoot in 4K with an aspect ratio of 4 to 3 versus the maximum 2.7K with the same aspect ratio of the O3 unit. As for the comparison with GoPro, it's not also clear. According to my feelings, it's more pleasant to work with the image from GoPro than from O4, but in order not to rely only on feelings, I need to do tests and everything will become clear. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see a detailed comparison with GoPro and O3 unit. Leave comments on what else you would like to see on my channel. That's all for today, thanks for watching and see you soon. Stop it, good line.